Assalamu alaikum dear students. How are you? I hope that all of you are well by the grace of Almighty Allah. I am fine too. Welcome you all to NIEBS Home School. This is Mahmud Rahman, Assistant Teacher of National Ideal English Version School, Dushit. Today, I am going to take an agri Agriculture Studies class for the students of class 7. Our today's topic is Assignment number 1, part 2. Dear students, look at the board. Subject Agriculture Studies. Topic Discussion on Assignment 1, Part 2. This is your lecture number 25. Term annual. Teacher Mahmud Rahman. This is my mobile number and this is my messenger ID. Dear student, look at your uh, assignment topic uh, once again. Unit and title of the lesson of your assignment number 1 is Chapter 1 agriculture and our culture chapter 2 agricultural technology lesson 1 necessity of irrigation and its effectivity lesson 2 irrigation methods and chapter 3 agriculture equipments there are two lessons from chapter 3 lesson 1 elements of plant nutrition and lesson 2 functions of essential elements dear students in our previous class that means on um, part one discussion we have uh, discussed question number one now today we will discuss on question number two there is a stem in question number two this is the creative question uh, let's read Siam cultivates fever plant at his home the leaves of the plants get faded and spreads in the whole plants as the plants grow Observing the situation, Siam's uncle advises him to apply fertilizer in moderate levels. There are two questions. Number A, the plants of Siam's tower are suffering from which nutrient deficiency? Explain. And number B, evaluate the suggestion of Siam's uncle. That means Siam's uncle advised Siam to apply fertilizer in moderate level you have to evaluate the suggestion that means you have to describe why and which uh, fertilizer he should apply in the field in the plant so dear students today i will help you to answer these two questions i will uh, discuss some topics from which you will get your answer and prepare your uh, assignment the number A question is the plants of Siam star are suffering from which nutrient deficiency explain. The students you know that there are 17 essential elements which plants uh, get from the soil and if the uh, nutrients are absent in the soil then the plant shows some symptoms. From your book lesson 3 you will see a chart like this where the deficiency symptoms of different nutrients are described. Let's see deficiency symptoms of plant nutrients. Plants suffering from nutrient deficiency express discernible symptoms. Such symptoms for the major elements are described below. From this description you will manage to explain num question number A. Elements number one element is nitrogen. Deficiency symptoms. Number one, leaves become light green to yellow. Number two, reduces crop production. Number three, seeds remain unfulfilled. Number four, less litters are produced. Number five, reduces the whites of root. Number six, leaves fall early. And number seven, seeds become smaller so these are the deficiency syndrome sorry deficiency symptoms of nitrogen number two phosphorus normal development of canopy and the root zone is hampered two cell division is hampered three plant growth is retarded number four small number of leaves develop number five protein content is less number six less flower production seven causes fruit falls and size reduction of foods let's see 
the deficiency symptoms are potassium number one reduces disease resistance number two reduces resistance against insects and mites number three the rate of photosynthesis decreases number four plant growth is hampered number five leaves become copper colored and number six is reduces drought tolerance now we will see the deficiency symptoms of sulfur number one plants become dwarf lips become small and discolored number three crop maturity is delayed number four production of well plant reduces number five new lips become yellow number six less growth tiller in rice and number seven stem dries and becomes thin zinc so what are the deficiency symptoms of zinc Number one, bases of young fatty leaves turn whitish, flowering and fruiting delayed. Number three, discoloration appears between leaf veins of maize, cotton and oranges. Four, leaf development is hampered. Five, leaf curl occurs in lemon. Six, uneven growth of light seedlings. And number seven, tips of roots and stems dry up. Let's see iron, which is a uh, scientific uh, symbol is Fe. Number one, young leaves are discolored between veins. Plants become dwarf. Three, rot develops in the leaves of orange, soybeans, and leafy vegetables. Four, the leaves of rice seedlings on the seedbed become yellowed. Calcium, the tips of the newly developed leaves get deformed number two the color of the leaves get faded and yellow number three leaves remain small in size four plants become dwarfish five parts of flowers and fruit cell fall and number six growth of legumes is hampered and the last one is magnesium which symbol is mg number one space between veins getting yellow Two, leaves dry up early, three branches and petioles remain thin. Number four, newly developed leaves remain dwarf, thin and light green. Number five, leaves of country beans become yellow. Development of chlorophyll is hampered. And number seven, the branch and the petioles of leaves become narrow. So these are the deficiency symptoms of different nutrients of plants. From this chart, you can make the answer of question number A. Then question number B, evaluate the suggestion of CM Sankal. That means he advises CM to use moderate level of fertilizer in the field. In your uh, previous class, that means in class 6, you started about different kinds of fertilizers so so today i will discuss from the relevant topic from your uh, class 6 book classification of fertilizers that means which fertilizers contain which uh, uh, nutrients uh, that the plants needed you will be get some idea from this description that uh, to make the plants become the former uh, former color and uh, to make the demand of plants which nutrients are uh, are needed in and for this reason which fertilizer should be used lesson classification of fertilizers Plants take food from the soil as similar we eat food. Plants need 17 essential nutrients to complete its life cycle. But it does not need all the nutrients in equal quantity. It triggers some of the nutrients more. We use these nutrients such as urea, TSP, MOP as fertilizer. Fertilizers are classified into two categories based on its sources. Number one, organic fertilizer. And number B, 
chemical fertilizer. You can see some uh, figures of fertilizers, urea, TSP, and MOP. Number A, organic fertilizer. The fertilizer which is produced from bodies of living beings, that is from debris of plants and animals is called organic fertilizer, such as cow dung, compost fertilizer, green manure, well cake, etc. You can see the making procedure of these uh, organic fertilizers in your class 7 book. All necessary food elements for plant are available in the organic fertilizer. That means as all the nutrients are available in organic fertilizer, if we use this uh, fertilizer in the soil, the soil will get stronger and fertile. Advantages of using organic fertilizer in the land. All the necessary nutrients are available in the organic fertilizer. It increases fertility of the soil. It increases the effectiveness, sorry, active activities of the soil microorganisms. It develops soil structure. It increases water ab absorption capacity of soil. And it increases air movement in the soil. Number B, chemical fertilizer. Fertilizer produced in the factories is called chemical fertilizer. Example, urea, DAP, gypsum, zinc, etc. The table below shows a list of some fertilizers and the nutrients. In the left side, the name of fertilizers and in the right side, which nutrients they contain. Urea. The name of our fertilizer is urea. Urea contains nitrogen. TSP contains phosphorus and calcium, MOP contains potassium, DAP contains nitrogen and phosphorus, gypsum contains sulfur and calcium, and zinc contains zinc and sulfur. So from this chart, you will get to know that CMs, from question number A, we know that CMs, uh, tops plants are suffering from some nutrient deficiency. So, CM Sankel advises him to apply some fertilizers. From this chart, we can understand that which fertilizer contains which type of nutrients. And we can understand that which fertilizer CM should use in the soil of his plants. So, these students, I hope that from today's discussion and the charts, uh, you have understood the process of giving the answers for the two questions of the creative question. For your better understanding, you must read your class 7 book and also you can take help from your class 6 board books. Okay. And if you have any problem or inquiries, please contact me in my mobile number and messenger. So prepare your assignment very carefully because it will helpful, very helpful for you to uh, get good uh, positions in your next class. Prepare your assignment neat and cleanly without making any mistake, without a spelling mistake. And uh, see you in the next class. Allah Hafiz.